intense the flames were from a view from Chopper 2. Only the walls are left in about half the home. This happened in Manuka overnight in a rural area on Bell Road. Here's a map to show you. CBS 2's Muga Odigwe spoke with the Shanahan Fire Chief about the battle to get this fire out. The Grundy County Coroner's Office has identified the 57-year-old woman as Susan Weber. The fire department was able to get her and the little boy out of the burning house, but it was not enough to save their lives. This view of the smoldering ranch house from Chopper 2 shows how much damage the fire did to the house on Bell Road. Part of the roof eaten away by the flames, you can even see into the house. But the worst part of it, two lives were lost. When you have two fatalities uh, like we experienced tonight, um, it affects everybody involved. Um, but most importantly, our hearts go out to the family. The Shanahan Fire Chief says there were four people in the house. Two of them were able to get out, but a five-year-old boy and 57-year-old Weber were trapped inside. Uh, upon arrival, uh, we encountered a heavy fire condition. It was about a 2,000 square foot ranch building on a slab. Uh, there was a very heavy fire uh, throughout. And the extremely cold weather made things worse. It was approximately two degrees below zero. Uh, it's always a challenge for us with uh, water uh, and, and flowing water. It can freeze up pumps, uh, freezes up hose lines. Authorities say Weber died at the hospital, the little boy at the scene. The fire department is still trying to figure out what caused the fire. In Manuka, Mugodigwe, CBS 2 News.